Hello, Stand Gerald. Right here. The sound of a newly stocked coin purse. Oh, let's trade then, Slayer. All right, let me see what you have for to sell. Oh, music to my ears. Music to my ears. Gerald neither particularly likes you nor dislikes you, and his prices are lukewarm. Lukewarm? I don't know that word. I guess neutral. At his disp disposition. So, I guess that means that we can improve our standing with the traders, and that's awesome because then we can have discounts if they like like us or not and it's a nice game mechanic who are you haven't seen you around here before enjoy your time in farglo thank you and who are you welcome welcome what can i be just do for you new haircuts different color tide of your face are you the local barber or something <laughs> oh no no but there are times I feel like a glorified one. I am the illusionist. And should you want to adjust your appearance, just come and see me. Oh, so... Can I change my appearance beyond the... The default things that I c could do in the character creation? That's really nice. Why would it be uh, expedient to change my looks? Back in the day when the Dragon Knights still abounded, they used to send assassins after Slayers to protect themselves and their families. The Slayers would often radically change their looks. Some even changed gender for periods of time. Holy. But that occurred very rarely, and I don't like to ponder the implications for too long. <laughs> Those hand gestures? <laughs> really? Common gold. Now that the okay. Dragon Knights have been all but eradicated, the use of illusionists has waned, but I still provide service. Few disciples who feel the need for a change. I'd like a makeover, please. But certainly. So. No. It's. I guess it's the same as. It was before. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, six haircuts and four colors. Uh, no, 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 no. Ah, I liked it the way it was. Yeah. Well, achievement. Nice. Although I'm not an achievement hunter. Sarah? No, I don't. I don't want to speak to everyone in this I game. See you have Hello. Morgana. Oh! That means we can proceed. Do me a favor and think of something, anything, but don't speak aloud. I think she was one of the people I need to talk to <laughs> think of how cute, cute this girl looks I'm flattered but I'm afraid this is neither the time nor the place for frivolities and frolicking too bad surprised surely you have heard of the gift of mind reading that dragon slayers possess no. maybe you have also wondered how they come by such an amazing ability. No. The answer is easy. I bequeath it to them. Where did this unique ability come from? It was a skill given to dragons only until a scroll was discovered or the spell. A slayer found it among the ruins of a dragon knight's citadel tower, and we have used it ever since. Will you grant me the power of mind reading? Of course. It is one of the reasons you are here. Now stand still and look into my eyes. Oh, I'd be glad to. There you go. The secrets of all. 
mind shall be revealed to you. Be aware though, strong minds are difficult to read and come at a cost, so you will have to work on your skills if you want to perfect this art. Hmm. Let's try it. It costs XP. Hmm. Well, one, so let's do it. <laughs> nice try, but you can get out of my head now. Not even Morgana can read my mind. Okay. I must go. Fare thee well, Slayer. So, if I can read minds of anybody, that's weird. And somehow it's. it holds funny possibilities. Huh? Huh? Hmm. Okay. Come to buy more goods? No. I sell only quality merchandise at competitive prices. I came to read your mind. Oh, free experience. Experience. Let's do it. My prices may be steep, but who can blame me? It's not like I'm vending on Rivertown Market. Oh, I got a new dialogue option. I must say, I remember better prices for these types of wares on Rivertown Market. Don't I know it, Slayer? Don't I know it? But what can I do? I run a small business. Tell you what, though, I give you, and only you, a special discount. Nah. Nice. So spend some extra coin, and you'll get a little something extra as well. Some other uh, time, then, Slayer? Not now. Let's find the other guys that I... Or girl, I don't know what their name was names were oh well yeah quest marker so this is rubbish what this is rope hello Interested in archery I'll tell you all about it if you like and you are I'm out of here a ranger born and bred and Scottish he is Sean Connery archery is my occupation and my passion and it could be yours as well. <coughs> Why are you convinced archery is the path I should follow? The way of the ranger is the one of a hunter, a woodsman. Mm. Master this art, and the enemy will never even see you coming. You walk the wilds quietly as the deer. You oh. strike with the force of wolf fangs. Just make sure you are always the one doing the hunting. I'm not the rabbit that stumbles into the snare. Have a great initiation. Uh, I'm not sure I want to be an archer. Most of these types of games, well, archers aren't, aren't that good. And I guess he's the mage. What? Oh, the newborn. Uh, Yes, I'm Alberic the wizard. So, magic, you know, I recommend it and so. <laughs> that was convincing. I don't have all day. My experiments, they keep me very busy. Oh. But fine, go ahead. I'll indulge you. Tell me about the practice of magic. First of all, the Slayer wizards are no fairy tale creatures. Yes, no they are. Toad tickling beards and silly hats. They are warriors, like all the others in the Order. However, their weapons are the physical expression of the powers of the mind. Those who command these forces can vanquish all foes that they literally put their minds to. Of course, even the strongest intellect may be exhausted if used improperly. So it's up to the mage to see that this doesn't happen. 